Dang, guys. Did you know that Japan is suffering from a ninja shortage? Interesting. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back. Boy, it's been a while. The reason why I haven't been updated, but uploaded, whatever, if you care, is because my old iPhone reached its capacity. And once that happens, out the window it goes. So I had to wait a little bit to get a new phone. Got the 13 Pro Max. Oh, I love it. I'll make a review on that, I think. I might, I don't know. I think there's probably enough of those out there. But anyway, voila. Throw in the video of it running earlier today. I have, it runs fine. Um, now the issue that I was having is the power steering. Every time I'd go to touch the steering wheel, it would almost want to kill me. And I couldn't figure out why. And I kept on um, blowing power steering lines. Well, a lot of back and forth, a lot of back and forth. I made my own high pressure power steering line and everything like that. Turns out that I had, because it's not clearly labeled on the rack, and it was already taken apart when I got it. So I had the high pressure side feeding the return side on the rack and vice versa. So I was trying to shove 1500 PSI worth of power steering fluid into the return side of the steering rack. And that's why it was, you know, shaking. And they say power steering fluid is not flammable. It isn't when you put an ignition source to it, but it most certainly has a flash point. And I found it and it's hot headers. So yeah. My genius self decided to ramp up the throttle when it was shaking. Things went downhill rather quickly. So, ain't that cool. But, got that all situated. I actually took it up today, out to the driveway, and slowly went one way, and slowly went the other way, just to make sure it didn't, I'm still very, very, very hesitant on touching it. I got do little, little taps. <laughs> but, it's, uh, I got it all the way around. All the way over, all the way around, all the way over. Try to get some of that air out, my cat back on it, and let it idle. <laughs> Come to find out, I was low on fuel. I actually ran out of fuel. So it didn't even get up to temp. I think it got up to 156. I think that was the highest it went. And my steam ports, I gotta take my steam ports. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm not gonna have to videotape it because, I mean, it's all, you know, willy nilly, easy shit. But yeah, I got a coolant leak um, on the steam port coming off the backside passenger head and then the little blocks that I have in between the block and the water pump housing. I'll switch the camera around and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, but there's like a little Allen screw for a water temperature sensor or something. I have one that's in the head, it's installed in the head. Um, but yeah, it's leaking out of there again. I thought I fixed it before, but evidently it likes to show its ugly ass. But uh, yeah, it, I mean, a radiator performs perfectly. There's no, thank God, no oil leaks, no fuel leaks, no air leaks. I mean, this thing runs like a freaking like a dream. I hooked the battery up and fucking crank, crank, spin out, done. And it's running, so it's, it's definitely ready to run under its own power. Hopefully I can do that this week. That'll be fucking nice. With all the shit that's happening in the world, I'll get a little, you know, a little happiness out of this thing pertaining to the this car because it's been an ongoing thing for what fucking two years or something like that i've been building this shit box but uh yeah let me flip the camera around show exactly what i'm talking about and i know it don't look that pretty the wiring and stuff i post this stuff to facebook and like yeah what's what's wrong with the wiring why is it all stuff? listen functionality with root parents words to live by Okay, look at the truck. So I don't know. Look at that. That's the fitting that's fucking leaking. So I'm probably gonna put some JB Weld on it. Um, it looks like my NPT is leaking as well. That's fantastic. So, but here, here's the problem child back here. So I'm gonna have to take this off, this off, and then tighten the bottom. You can see the crow's foot wrench down there and do it that way but uh 
Yeah, it runs no oil leaks. I mean, that's kind of kind of close, but it'll be okay. Uh, and then the power steering pump. It is a stock GM power steering pump. So if you're doing a LS swap, that's actually the truck uh, GM pump stock. So I think I deleted the video, but you can like go on in Jugu Racing's, um, if you don't want to pay like 80, 80 to $150 for a high pressure power steering line, or if you got that coin, go ahead and do that route. But if you don't like me, um, First of all, hook it up in the right fucking order. And second of all, they there's they actually tell you the little fittings that you need. Um, and you, I make my I made my own. I'll actually flip it around again, and show you guys what it looks like. Because I don't, I'm pretty positive I deleted that. There's some shit in this goddamn garage. I'm pretty sure I deleted that video. Christ Almighty. Yeah. So there it is. So the red and black, that's the high pressure side. So that's gonna be the top hole on the rack. Or no, yeah, the bottom hole. So the bottom hole is gonna be the high pressure feed. And then the top hole is gonna be the return. So I got the return coming to there. And that's just the stock, stock pump, ICT billet um, brackets and stuff like that. So that's what that looks like. You can see I still have dry agent from the fire. This thing caught on fire. Like I said, found the flash point. Um, I know it's corrosive. I had to take it out, pressure clean it. But hopefully my clutch works. First time I didn't try that today. Like I wanted to because it ran out of gas. But uh, yes. And I got my racing harness installed. So that's all set. Five point. I still got to hook up the little nut strap over there. But it is what it is. Uh, I got a new water temp gauge, top right, oil pressure. Still got to figure out what the fuck's going on with that. It's not reading any oil pressure. Obviously, it's getting oil because it doesn't have any rod knock. Uh, yeah, my ugly ass wiring. And my fire extinguisher. For obvious reasons. Because this thing likes to get spicy. Kind of a long video, just catching you all up. And I will, um, let's see, post it before this. Okay, so you already saw it. So it sounds pretty good. I do have, it's just an eBay four and a half inch outlet. Uh, it's three inch to four and a half inch outlet. Uh, big old fart can on the back just to quiet it down a little bit, you know. So, I mean, everything lined up pretty good. But I did have to make some modifications because of the swap. Because that's from stock. Stock stock engine. Excuse me. Um, but before you could definitely hear the cam. Now you really can't. It definitely quieted the cam down. I will put a video at the end of what it sounded like without the rest of the exhaust. It sounded like an ass car. I liked it. But for the sake of my neighbors, I put the rest of it on. So, yeah, like, share, subscribe, if you want to, if you don't, I don't care, comment, if I could be doing something different, and like the video, if you don't like the video, don't like the video, but do, do not like the video, post a comment down below, saying why you don't, what I can improve on, always looking to improve, and hopefully, I'll be driving this pig soon. That's going to be very, very anticipated, especially for me. Uh, and definitely need to get it tuned. I need to get my Suburban tuned, too. Jesus. But, uh, <clears throat> all right, y'all. Until next video, keep your eye out for it. I'm back, baby. I'm back. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Peace out.